So I, ito yung um, gusto ko remind sa atin na Lord na mag-wait. So, during this waiting, we complain. Ganito yung nasa sa sab, sabi doon na, Oh Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will my enemy have the upper hand? Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes, or I will die. Don't let my enemies gloat, saying, We have defeated him. Don't let them rejoice at my downfall. So sometimes may mga moment tayong ganito, no? Na kagaya kay David, that we complain that sometimes naisip natin that maybe nakalimutan na tayo ni Lord. So kunyari yung mga pasyante, tinawag na yung iba, tapos may nag-iisang hindi pa rin na natawag, na nagda-doubt na kung tatawagin talaga or hindi. Okay. Diba? Sometimes, we are like that. Wala appointment. appointment. Sometimes, may appointment ka, hindi ka pa natatawag. Diba? Uh, so, sometimes, you doubt talaga na, oh, maybe God for, forgot me already. Kaya noon, tell it sa Psalms. Ang dramatic, oh. So, <laughs> so bakit kaya tayo pinag-aantay ni Lord? So, because waiting reveals the truth in us. So, kapag nasa waiting room tayo, my chance is that uh, pwede tayong ma-fall into temptation. Especially when we are uh, waiting for something to happen. So, ginagawa natin yung shortcut, no? Because we are so focused on the accomplishment. Ginagawa yung shortcut para makuha yung something. So, nabupol na, na, na tayo sa temptation. We don't follow God's way. So, sometimes, kapag ganun, Nakaka-develop tayo ng mga negative emotions which are stress, uh, worry, irritability, and jealousy, envy. So especially, katulad nga sa mga pasyante na example ko kanina, no, na nagagalit na kasi ang tagal tawagin. Ginawag na yung isa, tapos mga gagalit magkakulit. Bakit hindi niyo ba ako tinatawag, sister? Kanina pa ako dito, na ano pa ako dyan sa pasyente? Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Sometimes you are like that. Na we develop the, the jealousy towards other people. Na sometimes they accomplish more. And then tayo, parang, oh, bakit kaya ganyan? Bakit kaya ganyan siya na, oh, ganito na, na-promote na or something, ganon. So what happened to me? Sometimes, nagkakameron ng uh, negative emotions that develops at through this waiting. And then it also sometimes leads us to poor spirituality. Sabi dito sa Proverbs 14.12, There is a path. Uh, there is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. Ito yung mga shortcut na tinitake natin, that we do it in our way. So, th- let's be reminded, sabi sa Proverbs na, it might appear right, superficially, but in the end, it will lead to death. So, while waiting, it reveals the truth in our motives. So sometimes, if you, uh, if your motive is, is good, Pagkaantay ka talaga. Pero kapag hindi, hindi. For example, sa, sa, um, let's say you are waiting for the right one. You are waiting for for somebody. The right one for you that God has uh, intended. Pero since na in a hurry ka, kasi nga yung iba kinakasal na, yung iba uh, engage. So, minsan na pili mo yung maling tao. So, sa so, so, madali mo na yung pili mo yung ibang tao, yun yung consequence. So, ano ba yung real mong motive? So, kung, kung gusto mo talaga maging masaya, like, in, in truth, or gusto mo lang yung, you know, makipagsabayan sa mga uh, competitors. <laughs> competitors. So, it reveals also the truth in our character. So, are we, are we patient enough? To, to wait on God. So sabi na paulit-ulit sa ating siya, sabi na hindi na isibibigay sa iyo ang isang bagay kapag uh, hindi ka pa ready. So kaya tinitinan ni Lord kung ano yung totoo sa iyong character kasi doon siya magsisimula ng transformation kung ano pa yung dapat na i-transform sa iyo. Kung kailan mo ba ng overhaul. Overhaul! Parang buo, buo tayo ng uh, 180 degrees change. Sa and then, it reveals our faith, kung ano yung level ng iyong faith. Kasi kung ako uh, matatag ang iyong faith, there's no room for doubts. Kapag nasa waiting room ka, you'll just wait patiently for your turn because you know na 
God is there. He will call you. Sa? Okay. So what to do while in God's waiting room? Yeah, nito very first prayer and thanksgiving. We always hear this um, reminder na mag-pray and mag, uh, maging ano, grateful. Sa Philippians 4, 6 to 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. In the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So kapag ganito ka thankful ka and you really uh, are dependent in God, so si God, i-guard niya yung iyong hearts and minds na hindi ka magkakamero ng negative emotions, na hindi ka magkakamero ng uh, hindi ka makakuha ito ng patient because you are in God so align ka doon sa kanyang path kahit na mag-wait ka ng pagkatagal-tagal if you are in God then He will lead you to and to the path that is right so sabi pa sa Colossians chapter 4 verse 2 devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart Hallelujah <coughs> so <coughs> Second is serving and obeying God. So Hebrews chapter 4, 6, So God's rest is there for people to enter, but those who first heard this good news failed to enter because they disobeyed God. So usually, no, kapag uh, pinapalo mo talaga ang iyong way compared to God's way, maraming consequences. Na imbis na uh, mapadali ang iyong ang iyong ang pagkapit ng iyong heart's desire hindi hindi siya maibibigay kasi mas pinapalo mo yung shortcut yung shorter path sa Psalms 103 ch- chapter 5 I wait for the Lord my whole being waits in, in His word I put my hope so yung hope natin hindi natin yung ibibigay sa ating mga bosses as I mean boss ha, sa ating friends or uh, sa ating management because kapag nag-hope ka doon malaki ang chances that it will fail. So, your hope will always be, should always be put in the Lord. Sa? So, um, yung dependency natin, hindi hindi yun sa ating uh, mga material na bagay or the things that are here on earth. So, it will always be for the Lord. Kasi yung magpo-promote sa atin or magbibigay sa atin ng race or magbibigay sa atin ng recognition is hindi naman yung mga tao. It's always the Lord. It comes from the Lord. Sa? <coughs> so because uh, also um, it also aids in developing our character since na yung mga accomplishment natin ay hindi natin yan madadala sa heaven. Ang ipapasan natin kay Lord is yung ating character, not the accomplishment ginagawa natin sa sa lupa. <coughs> okay, and next, believe that the God who saved you hears your cries. So sometimes na kahit na nagpe-pray tayo kay Lord, like fervently we're praying, pero wala pa rin sagot, just remember na the Lord always hears us. Sabi sa Micah 7, 7, Though I have fallen, I will rise. Though I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my light. Because I have sinned against him, I will bear the Lord's wrath until he pleads my case and establishes my right. He will bring me out into the light. I will see his righteousness. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so, um, while waiting, na, uh, lahat tayo, since na, we are all waiting, even though na, uh, nagkakamali, we have sinned. So, may mga bagay na uh, hindi nakakapis kay Lord. But at the end, when you obey God, when you follow his life, it reveals sa you ni Lord kung ano yung kanyang uh, will and plans para sa iyo. So always remember that we are uh, the child of God. And while waiting, we have to serve God. So one way of serving God is to serve other people also. So during this waiting time, uh, we have to serve other people because we represent God already. So yung mga pasyente no, na isa talaga nagigiboy sa ibang mga pasyente na kahit na uh, turn na nila. So binibigyan nila yung kanilang uh, what? Ano yan? Slot para sa sunod na mas nangangailangan. So we can also do that while waiting. We can serve other people so that yung uh, hindi nagiging in vain ang ating time during the waiting period. 
So this is uh, one of the my most favorite verse. Sabi sa Isaiah chapter 49, 16. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. So let's all be reminded na kahit na hindi, hindi pa sinasagot ni Lord ang ating mga prayers, no, na lahat, lahat tayo nakasulat sa kamay niya with correct spelling. Kaya never na talaga mag-doubt. <laughs> so sometimes kasi na naisip natin no, na, na the Lord is so what? Yung minsan na ini-ignore yung ating prayer kasi hindi sinasagot. So just always remember this verse, Isaiah 49.16 na nakasulat ang ating mga pangalan sa kamay niya. So, he will never, ever, ever forget us.